okay yesterday we all have learnt about the lines line segments and the rays now today we will proceed with the next part of the lines okay now the next part of the lines now just now we discussed about all these things now let's say i draw a line like this it's again a line okay so you will say i if i'll tell you draw a line you may draw this line you may draw this line you may draw this line you may draw the line in this way any ways you can draw the line okay now these lines are you uh, called as curves all right now curves means this is a line but it is not straight so it is forming a curve it's forming a curve all right now this line again moving but it is not forming a curve uh, sorry it is forming a curve now this line is again moving but this is not forming a curve it is moving in a straight direction same way here so some are uh, these lines are also called as the curve all right now in this curves let's take this is open curve it can move to both sides it can move to both sides this is also open curve this is also open curve all right now let's take another line and it is moving so when it is moving it comes back to same place and then closes here similarly if i draw this diagram that is the line i am starting from here and then it is moving and then it is coming back and then coming back and to the same original position now in this there is no open place in these two figures there is no open place so these curves are known as the closed curves they are known as the closed curves and these are known as the open curves so the curves are also of two types open curves and the closed curves all right now using these closed curves we can draw the different diagrams in the Hmm, geometrical part suppose i draw this okay a square type i draw this one a rectangle type so like this we can have the uh, different figures using the closed curves i think it's easy for all of us to understand okay now let's proceed to the next part of it next next part of that now just uh, in the previous class we have discussed about the ray let's take a point a here all right let's take a point a here now from a i draw a ray ab okay from a i draw a ray ac from a i draw another ray ad all right now see here all these rays are starting from a point a which is the common point here all right the common point that is the end point a here it is moving in the direction ab it is moving in the direction ac it is moving in the direction ad all right so when we have more two or more than two rays which are starting from the same end point or we can say that when we have two or more than two lines which are having the same end point all right same end point that is one common point is there these lines are called as the concurrent lines concurrent lines these lines are called the concurrent lines all right that means the concurrent lines are having a common end point from where they start and then they move in the other directions we can have another line like this let's take this is ae we can have another here let's take am we can have this way another way let's take it ar all right so so many lines can start from the same point so all these lines are known as the concurrent lines i think it's clear to all of you okay now let's proceed with the next part of it now if i draw a line segment in this way ab all right so there is a small line formed now how many points are required to draw a line suppose i take a point a here i take a point b here and i take a point c here and if i ask you can i draw one straight line can i draw one straight line joining a b and c is it possible you see this let's join is this coming a straight line no there is this is no uh, uh, it's not one straight line there are two parts two lines are there so to draw one straight line 
we need minimum three points in a line that means if i take a point a if i take a point b and if i take point c and then i join this have i got a straight line yes so we need minimum three points a b and c to draw a straight line these three points it can be minimum three as i told you these three points are known as the collinear points sorry collinear points these are known as the collinear points all right so if somebody ask you the question how many collinear points are required to draw a straight line what will be your answer your answer will be we need three collinear points to draw a straight line okay